Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Night Prayer for January 22nd, Sunday, January the 22nd. It's year two, it's week three in Epiphany, and it's week three in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verses 169 to 176. Galatians chapter 2, verse 1 to 10. And a song from 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verse 10 to 13. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. O oh God, let my cry come before you. Teach me by your word. Alleluia. Psalm 119. O oh God, let my cry come before you. Teach me by your word. Let my pleading come before you. Save me by your promise. Let my lips proclaim your praise, because you teach me your statutes. Let my tongue sing your promise, for your commands are just. Let your hand be ready to help me, since I have chosen your precepts. I long for your saving help. Your law is my delight. Give me life that I may praise you. Let your decrees help me. I am lost like a sheep. Find me, for I remember your commands. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. O oh God, let my cry come before you. Teach me by your word. Alleluia. The lesson is from Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. Then, after fourteen years, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas, taking Titus with me. I went up in response to a revelation. Then I hit, lay before them, though only in private, meeting with the acknowledged leaders, the gospel that I proclaim among the Gentiles, in order to make sure that I was not running, nor had not run in vain. But even Titus, who was with me, was not compelled to be circumcised, though he was a Greek. But because of false believers secretly brought in, who slipped in to spy on the freedom we have in Christ Jesus, so that they might enslave us. We did not submit to them even for a moment, so that the truth of the gospel might always remain with you. And from those who were supposed to be acknowledged leaders, what they actually were makes no difference to me. God shows no partiality. These leaders contributed nothing to me. On the contrary, when they saw that I had been entrusted with the gospel for the uncircumcised, just as Peter had been entrusted for the gospel with the gospel for the circumcised. For he who worked through Peter, making him an apostle to the circumcised, also worked through me in sending me to the Gentiles. And when J James and Cephas and John, who were acknowledged pillars, recognized the grace that had been given to me, they gave to Barnabas and me the right hand of fellowship agreeing that we should go to the Gentiles and they to the circumcised. They asked only one thing, that we remember the poor, which was actually what I was eager to do. Here ends the lesson.
Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Yahweh the God of our ancestor Israel, forever and ever. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O God Most High, the God of our ancestor Israel, forever and ever. Yours is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, and the majesty. For all that is in the heavens and on the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Most High, and you are exalted as head above all. Riches and honor come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might, and it is in your hand to make great and to give strength to all. And now, our God, we give thanks to you, and we praise your glorious name. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Yahweh, the God of our ancestor Israel, forever and ever. Alleluia. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And the almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. 